What's going on YouTube? Controversy here and welcome back to another video. So one very common question I get either during my lives or in the comment section of my TikTok is what are some ways that you can improve? Now the honest answer is that there is no fast track to improvement and there is no magical way to just instantly make yourself better. But today I wanted to share with you four tips that I use in order to help me improve at just gaming as a whole. If you guys enjoyed today's video or find any of this information helpful, please leave a like on it and let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Now for the first tip, this should be common sense, but surprisingly, it just really isn't. You have to actually want to improve. Now I know what you're thinking, hey controversy, if I clicked on this video, don't you think that I want to improve? Honestly, yes and no. The fact is that if you don't see any value in it or you don't see any reason to actually want to do it and maybe you're just clicking out of curiosity, you're probably not going to actually want to improve. Yes, I am a streamer and content creator, but by trade, I'm a personal trainer. The countless amount of clients that I've gotten that have physically wanted to change but just didn't actually wanted to commit to changing or put in the work to changing would honestly probably just blow your mind. Now, if you take that same concept and you apply it to this, you have to actually really want it and you've got to commit to it. In short, there are plenty of things that people want to do but are not willing to put in the work. Now that we've actually established that you really do want to improve, the next step is going to be to humble yourself. I've been a part of plenty of different gaming communities and one thing that I will say about the Overwatch community is there is quite an ego in a lot of the player base. Like too many players overvalue how good they actually are. And maybe it's because within your own elo that you might shine or stand out above the rest of the competition. But once you compare to other elos you start to realize that maybe you could actually use some improvement even myself i am no exception to this i might hit a clip and be like bro i'm actually nuts but then the second i see any sort of top 500 or grandmaster player do the same thing but better you get humbled pretty quickly so just make sure that you're not allowing your ego to not actually ruin your opportunity for improvement okay so now that we've made it past the first two steps the next step is to watch players that are better than you now i know that this is just kind of a common stigma within the gaming community that a lot of players don't really like pros because of their opinions or they believe that they don't actually listen to the casual community in many cases whether that's true or not mechanically you can't deny how good they are basically think about it like this if you have the opportunity to learn how to play basketball from absolutely anybody in the world would you choose the guy at your local ymca that won a state championship for his high school or would you choose lebron james or michael jordan or Steph Curry, one of the greatest players of all time. You and I both know that the obvious answer is to learn from someone who has established themselves and accomplished themselves at the highest top tier level. Learning from the best players in the world is truly invaluable and in many cases is entirely free. You can simply pull up their Twitch or go to their YouTube and honestly just review what they're doing, learn from them, dissect what they're doing and what you're not doing. Maybe mechanically you're just really gifted, but there is something that you're missing that's taking you to that top tier level. In many cases, watching someone better than you can fill that gap, which leads us to our fourth and final tip, VOD reviewing or coaching. Now that you've gotten accustomed to watching other top tier players gameplay, you now should go back and review your own gameplay to see what it is that you are not doing that they are doing. The reason why this is so important is because the first step to fixing anything is first addressing that there is even a problem. Maybe trying to find a map that you've played on that you've watched some other top tier player play on and see what did they do differently that you could have done differently. Maybe it's something as simple as target priority or just playing a different angle or playing on a different high ground. Something that can just be very simple that can make a huge impact in your gameplay. For me, what I do is every Sunday, I go to a coaching session with one of my coaches that I have in my Discord, which by the way, if you want access to this, you can do this yourself. You just join the community Discord and I have a coach in there that you can speak with and get a free VOD review from him. But every Sunday, he and I go over a VOD review over a few of my games that I've done to see what problems I have, what I need to improve on, or any sort of bad habits that I may have that's simply keeping me hard stuck or keeping me at the same rank that I've already been on. Just simply talking to someone else that has another perspective from at a higher tier is always going to be valuable and he's helped identify plenty of the different things that I am doing wrong that I really just shouldn't be doing. And even if a coach isn't something that you're looking for, just having one of your friends even go over some of your VOD reviews with you can be really beneficial to helping you identifying where you are struggling at the most. But there are four simple yet effective tips that you should be using in order to improve. If you guys enjoyed the video or found any of this information helpful, please leave a like on it. If you want to come back and see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.